because it is just so ow fuck. that's completely 100% my bad I got too cocky um that's my fault look now you're talking to your highness can't see me I'm the reason for your blindness they try this but I'm too classy for your lines guys it's blaze and i love mozzarella sticks you like my new hair because i freaking love it i'm getting very peacock mermaidy little vibes and i put in my little roaring 20s headband because i think it looks cute look at that it looks so cute. this is going to be a little bit of a different video um not really beauty related at all oh my goddess just stay in place you have one job. I've actually been collecting this and meaning to do this video for almost a year now, maybe even over a year now, but just so many other videos came up first and it, this one just kind of got put sadly on the back burner, but um, I've been collecting for a few days. Um, my biggest ones so as you can tell by the title above this video is going to be me ranting about my biggest pet peeves. Disclaimer. Um, if you do any of my the things that are in my pet peeves, that's perfectly okay. You do you, and I myself am guilty of doing some of the things on this list. So it is not to insult anybody, it is just for me to rant and get out my pet peeves that there are many of, but I'm not going to go through every single one because I don't want this to be a um, three hour docu movie. Oh, without further ado, let's get started. Nail files. Okay, I can deal with the nice thicker nail files, their nail buffers, whatever. That's fine. I can do that on myself. I can watch and hear other people do it. <sighs> I'm going to put a picture up right here and I don't even want to look at it because looking at it makes me gag. I cannot stand emery boards these kind the ones that are like just a stick of sandpaper i hate everything about it i hate the way it feels i hate the way it sounds whenever i'm in with my friend a friend or my mother's room or my sister's room and they're taking an emery board um they tell me to close my ears because i seriously gag at the sound and the feeling of it, I just cannot stand it. And I know I've said this, I think two or three times in videos past, but it's one of my biggest pet peeves. I cannot stand it. Um, I don't even like talking about it. It's that bad. <laughs> the term white trash. I'm not gonna get into a race war here because why would I? Why can't you just say trash? It has nothing to do with skin color. There's trashy white people, there's trashy black people, there's trashy Hispanic, brown, red, yellow, green, purple. There's trashy people of all different colors. And um, if you know somebody who happens to be white and they're trashy, why can't you just call them trash? Why does it have to be white trash? I, I, that, I don't know, that one just, irks me too and yes I have said white trash in the past like I said some of these pet peeves I am guilty of so um, I haven't said it in a long time but um, I don't know it just the way I, I don't like the way it sounds in my ear balls my ear holes on my face in my head on my head what okay this has been a pet peeve of mine since I was actually a teenager when people call me cute now I don't mind if somebody says oh that necklace is cute oh that shirt you're wearing it's so cute or your hair looks so cute or your makeup looks so cute I just don't like somebody saying oh my god you're so cute to me it sounds very condescending and I just don't like it. I didn't even like it when I had my boyfriend, when I had my fiance's fiance, when I had other boyfriends, best friends. I don't even like my family calling me cute. I don't like being called cute. Um, to me, cute is something that you would 
call like a three-year-old girl or a boy. Um, I'm gonna be 29 in less than a month. So I'm not cute. <laughs> I'm not cute anyway. So if you have called me cute in the past, I'm not angry at you. You didn't piss me off. You don't know any better. And if you wanna call me cute, you can, but I just do not like being called cute. I just don't like it. People using the word shaming in every aspect of their life that should not have the word shame in it such as slut shaming which is a thing apparently age shaming which is apparently a thing there's kink shaming like kinky bedroom what you like to do in when you're having sex kink shaming what the f stop I understand religion shaming or gender shaming, even race shaming, anything. But why does everything have to be this shaming? Why can't you just say you are being racist or you are being cruel or you are being a bully or you are being prejudiced? What is with the word shame all of a sudden? Is it Game of Thrones fault? Is it Game of Thrones fault? Shame. 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 Stop. Just stop with the word shaming. Just stop. Please. Please. I'm begging you. You keep using the word. I don't think it means what you think it means. Okay. I know certain people have different dialects. All over the world you have different accents. You, you know, things like you can pronounce apricot either apricot or apricot. I hate the um, saying potato potato because who in their right mind calls a potato a potato on a daily basis when they're like unless they're like joking like I would like some potatoes but nobody nobody says potato nobody so I, I love one of my biggest turn-ons is accents British Irish Scottish Australian everything I love accents here's the thing Anastasia Beverly Hills, the makeup brand, Anastasia Beverly Hills. You see the way that it is spelled? I cannot stand when people call it Anastasia Beverly Hills or Anastasia Beverly Hills. Bitch, where is the H in Anastasia? It is Anastasia Beverly Hills, okay? That is how it's pronounced whether you're from England, America, Africa, Ireland, anywhere. It's Anastasia Beverly Hill. Bitch, where? This one I am guilty of doing like maybe three or four times, um, maybe even five times. When you're watching a YouTube video and like it's a tutorial or a haul video, whatever it may be, um, and the person when you're the youtuber who is talking into the camera talking to their audience And they're like if you'd like to see how I got this makeup look then keep on watching That's why I clicked this video your video says you know um, sweet peach palette eyeshadow Tutorial I clicked it so I can watch you do your tutorial on your eyes from that palette You think I'm not gonna keep watching? That, that's why I clicked it. If it's boring and stuff, I uh, will click out, but I'm going to keep watching. That is why I clicked on this video. <laughs> this one's a big one with me. And if you're my close relative or close friend, you will be um, aware of this because I annoy everybody. Um, when I've been tested since I was a child, the, the two things on testing that I excelled at was writing comprehension um, and English like I was on a college level in sixth grade um, in that department and memory I have a very sickening serious memory when people get quotes from either movies or songs or books incorrect and they put that as their status or they make a picture of it I cannot stand when people get quotes wrong. I, I don't, it lights a fuse under me and I have to bring it up to them. Um, that's not the way that Khal Drogo said that. 
that's not the way that Alice in Alice in Wonderland said. She never said that. She, she didn't say it like that. You're using the wrong words. I hate when people get quotes wrong. It just drives me insane. I, a lot of people, and I really don't understand why, I mean, I know that there is an explanation because it reminds them of sexual things, but who cares? Everything nowadays reminds people of sexual things. People who hate the word moist. I personally don't. My word, instead of moist, is chunk or chunks. I buy fruit at Whole Foods and I'll buy a thing of pineapple or watermelon to have for breakfast or a snack and it'll say pineapple chunks or watermelon chunks on it. And I'm like, can you from now on just put pieces instead of chunks because that is like, I keep, that's, that word is so disgusting and I hate it so much. It is my moist is chunks. It's disgusting. I don't like it. When people are describing when they're doing first impressions of makeup and they're like this highlighter, it's very chunky. Just don't do it around me. Please, I'm begging you, just, just stop with, what the, with the chunk. Chunk in the front, chunk in the back. No, chunk nowhere. Never. If you know me, I have been into serial killers since I was a child. That sounds wrong, but I am interested. I get it from my mother of all the cases of serial killers, especially like the most infamous ones. I have several books and have several documentaries even on DVD of serial killers. I am interested in the psychology behind serial killers and what makes them do what they have done or did. Um, and I'm very much aware of laws and the judicial system and stuff like that. The thing I don't get, and I mean, I know the reason they do this, but it's just so pointless. Say somebody committed murder, a woman who's 30 years old and she kills somebody and she gets 142 years in jail. So she will be out when she's like 170 something. Um, why? Why are prison sentences longer than how long you're gonna actually be alive? I hate watching documentaries and shows and they're like, she was sentenced to 109 years and she's like 80 years old already and I'm like, why? Why that number of years? And why, why can't you just say she's just gonna die in prison? That's all she has, life in prison. Why does it have to be 100 plus years? Sometimes it's like 400 years in prison. What? Again, just a pet peeve. I don't know, it just, it just annoys me and it makes me question everything. Logic. Okay, y'all know I am a dollar store. I love the dollar store. I love Dollar Tree. I love all dollar stores. The thing I don't like about some dollar stores, and not all dollar stores do this, but a lot of them do, they will sell products for more than a dollar. It is called a dollar store. Why is that $2.50? Now, there are some like independent dollar stores which I've seen a dollar and then a plus which okay that's fine but a year and a half ago me and my mother went to family dollar for the first time we have never been to family dollar and we thought it was a family dollar store almost nothing in that store was a dollar you tricked me the phrase never say never you just contradicted yourself. That is a double negative. Um, you just said never and continue to say, say never. But you just said never. So are you saying that we should say never? Maybe you should say you shouldn't say never, not never say never because that, that makes zero sense. Skinny girls, and I'm talking skinny, thin girls with like really high metabolism. Writing a status or you're recording a vlog that they had a piece of chocolate cake. 
hashtag fat girl status. No, I write fat girl static, hashtag fat girl status a lot because why I am a thicker, thicker girl. You weigh a hundred pounds soaking wet and you're only eating one piece of chocolate cake and that makes you a fat girl. That is a fat girl status. No bitch, I don't think so. Go, go away with that. Find another hashtag. Just leave, leave us fat girls alone, please. Don't, don't try to steal all our shit, okay? If I text you a long text or something very important and 10 minutes later you'll text me just the letter K. If I tell you um, I'll be ready in 10 minutes and you say K right away, that's fine. If I'm explaining a whole story about like a doctor's visit and what tests I have to go for and what this means and what this what I can't do and then a half an hour you'll just write K. Calm down because I'm about to have a stroke. And the last one for this video. My father does this and he didn't know that this was a pet peeve of mine, a huge one, one of the top ones. I love string cheese. I love it. It's a very, very fun little snack to have when you just uh, are a little bit hungry. My father, and I've seen other people do this, do not eat string cheese the way that they, you're supposed to eat string cheese. They will take it out of the wrapper instead of pulling the strings off like you're supposed to because it is called string cheese. Takes the entire stick and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sick. That is not the way you eat string cheese. You god darn savage. That is not how you eat string cheese. That is disgusting. Just biting it and biting it and eating it whole. It's not a hot dog. It's string cheese. <sighs> that is it for this pet peeve video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and why don't you guys comment down below what your biggest pet peeve is or if you have a pet peeve that is the same of mine that I have listed, comment it down below. I'd like to see your pet peeves and see if we have any in common. Um, thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. And if you would be so kind to go below and hit that red button that says subscribe and subscribe right now because I always have free monthly beauty contest giveaways and raffles all free 100% of the time. It's 100% legit, no catch, not sponsored. It goes from my pocket and gives directly to you. Um, I currently have one going on that ends this month on the 20th. Um, it is Christmas in July, so I'm giving away the Coastal Scents Winterberry Palette, which I love so near and dear. I, I love it so very, very much. Um, don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias because I'm always announcing and posting stuff on my Instagram and my Facebook and stuff like that. I almost never go on Twitter, um, but I do check it once in a while. Speaking of other social medias, I did want to throw this in this video. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, um, I'm going to try not to cry. Um, if you guys follow the news and if you guys know what happened, um, the actor who played Lafayette in True Blood, which was my favorite show of all time, um, he passed away. His name was Nelson Ellis and um, I took his death very hard and um, I'm still kind of in shock. I still haven't really come to terms with it. Um, if you go on my Instagram, I will leave all my information below as I always do and I will show it up here somewhere. I did write out a whole story to why this death was so hard on me and why I got so emotional and why I got so angry about it. Um, 
and I'm going to leave this video with a little tribute to him of one of my favorite things that he ever said on the show ever. Um, I'm going to call you Lafayette because that's who you are to me. Um, I even named a pet that I had. It was named after him. His name was Lafayette. Um, Nelson Lafayette. Um, thank you. Thank you so much for helping me save my life and helping me in a very, the worst dark state I was ever in in my life. Um, you brought new life into my life and I don't know how to show my appreciation enough. Um, you are, a, and I'm not going to say where, you are a beautiful person and one of the people, like I said, who did help say li literally and legitimately save my life. Um, thank you for all the memories and all the laughter and everything. Um, I will keep the spirit of Lafayette Reynolds alive in everything that I do. As you guys have seen in previous videos, um, I do use <laughs> the clip, tip your waitress, a lot from Lafayette. Um, because I just love him so much. And, um... Rest easy, Nelson, and thank you for everything. And I'm going to leave this video with one of my favorite scene, quote scenes from Lafayette from True Blood. So until next time, guys, stay wicked. What the hell is wrong with me, Lafayette? Life ain't not having problems, Tara. It's about being able to deal with the ones you got. No, obviously I can't. You can, and you will. If I gotta drag your narrow ass through this world kicking and screaming. Look, the Buddhists weren't lying when they said life is suffering. It don't mean you get to check out early and leave me here. <laughs>